in front of her. No one could have predicted how it was cut short. She's a beautiful young girl, and it's, you know, so sad to see somebody's life end in that way. She was a victim of a homicide left behind a backstop on a Woodward High School ball field. If I had any idea that she was going to be murdered two weeks later, I would have never let her out of my sight. Erin Vincent says Wall and Gary Eubanks lived with her in Daphne, Alabama just weeks ago. She says Wall told her Eubanks was abusive. We knew it was unhealthy, but obviously what can you do to someone who is 18 years old to say, go back home to your parents who care about you. That was just two weeks before what happened at this microtel in Daphne. Wall was seen going into the lobby. Moments later, police say Eubanks comes in and robs a clerk at gunpoint. 48 hours later, the body of a young woman turns up more than a thousand miles away here in Cincinnati at that baseball field. She remained unidentified even after pictures were released, including tattoos and jewelry. Five days passed. You would expect a young girl like this would have been reported. Somebody would have noticed that she's missing. Or Hamilton County Coroner Lakshmi Cody Samarco says it took a few days, but the pictures made their way through social media to a family member of Walls. A member of her family contacted her parents and said that, you know, this description might be uh, your, your daughter, and they contacted Cincinnati Police on Sunday. It led to the identification of Bailey Wall, but it has not led to her killer. And we've learned there's another twist. There was a third person that was seen in the microtail video. Police want to talk to Eubanks and that other person. So far, they remain elusive, along with the answers to what happened to Bailey Wall. Now, there have been reports that Wall was killed somewhere else and dumped at the field. The coroner here says that is not the case. They believe she was killed there and was shortly later that her body was discovered. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.